three group one amaga children, 10 standard children, we completed uh, four units uh, and this is fifth unit and fifth poem we learnt. Do you remember what it is? Yeah, it is related to the machine. Yeah, the secret of machine we learnt you know the poem. The prose lesson is also related to the machine and here uh, you are going to see uh, techno bloomers. So, how technology is uh, so helpful as now we can uh, tell me the helpfulness of the technology in your life. So, you are uh, not coming to the school, you are learning at home with the technology help. So, you have the uh, laptops and cell phones and uh, teachers were somewhere in the distance, uh, they are teaching you and you are listening and you are learning and you are going to get mark, even test will be conducted in that, isn't it children? The same way technology had been helped somebody here in this lesson and we are going to see whom it helped and how it helped. You know that uh, uh, if uh, you are uh, uh, blind or are you deaf or you were uh, handicapped, I, I think that nobody is like that in 10 standard all or uh, blessed with a God with good uh, hands, uh, eyesight and uh, a healthy body. But uh, some people are uh, handicaps we call and they have some problem in their learning and studies. For them a technology helped that had been shown in this lesson. It is very clear children, uh, if you were uh, having all the thing and if you are not learning, God had blessed you with all uh, good sight, uh, good ear power and uh, good uh, and good legs and you can walk, jump and run and uh, you can do and even your brain is working properly, then you are not doing uh, that much uh, uh, studies, then think over a blind or a deaf or uh, having uh, uh, some problem in their health and they were just learning and scoring themselves and they are trying, they work hard and they do something better than you. Just think over children, how uh, uh, you were and how others were, we have to think you no know, children. So here in this lesson we are going to think two personalities like that who has some problem in their health and the technology that uh, helps them to bloom. You now when that is not there, they are being considered as a bloomer. What is a bloomer? Technology bloomer. So, they were a slow bloomer, late bloomer. Late bloomer means what? Late means they will be doing all uh, late because they have some problem and uh, because of that they are not able to do. So, that the blooming is not taking place. And some are very sharp minded, they will catch very immediately and they will be learning. But here technology helps to personality and that personality had been uh, blooming with that help of the technology. So, this lesson had been called as tick bloomers. So, tick bloomers, the technology helps a person to learn and they are learning and they are shining in their life. So, this uh, uh, topic had been given tech bloomers. So, your fifth unit, 10 standard children, your fifth unit prose lesson tech bloomers had been written by the author. It had not written and it has been taken uh, from the thing. We will see what it is. Yeah. So, all innovative it is, this had been taken, uh, no author for this, it had been taken from the, taken from uh, newspaper like that, uh, some magazines like that, it had been taken, okay. So, two personalities have been taken here, so we will see what it is, okay. This lesson talks about the use of technology by a normal person and in en empowering the disabled to do their day to day course of life to travel, to communicate, to learn, to do business and to live in comfort. So, Aliza and David's life has changed with the use of technology. So, your yeah, two personality, one is Aliza and the other one is David, their life had been changed because using the technology, with the use of technology, so their life had been uh, so helpful and they were doing their course of time and and uh, that uh, helps and that had been taken as a lesson for us and we are going to see that. Technology impacts the environment, people and the society as a whole. 
the way we use technology determines if its impact or positive to the society or negative so the way we use technology determines if its impact or positive to the society or negative to the society the same cell phone or uh, uh, laptop can make your life doing some harm to others at the same time doing something good for others so here uh, when you are using technology in a useful way your life will be shining and if you are using the technology in the other hand you will misuse your life so it is all in your hand how much you are using and how, how far you are using that is the lesson about and see here the uh, person who is having some problem uh, for example Aliza and David and they were just uh, uh, taking their uh, technology help and they were just doing it We'll see what is in this lesson okay children we'll see okay have you ever thought that your refrigerator can order stuff on its own just imagine children if a refrigerator is there and you are just buying and going and keeping inside and taking just imagine if for, for example daily or getting milk it is a wanted one as usual on all the days so daily we'll be having coffee bone vita all will be drinking and milk is a needy thing and curd and sometimes in curd summer season you'll need and in the winter season you will not eat some some people will have in both the seasons so it all the needed fruits and vegetables suppose you think over the uh, the nowadays you are buying and coming and you just kept in the refrigerator so just imagine uh, your fridge as the technology that it can order itself and then it can make it inside the thing how happy you would be so sometimes what you wanted it will be there and what you don't want it will not be there isn't it so here suppose if you give a thing in a, a, a thing or you, you are saying that this all needed for me on this days so it will be just ordering for you not just imagine how relaxed you will be and just imagine other thing also well anything which is below a predefined limit or a below certain threshold can be self ordered by the appliance your refrigerator can directly link to the e-commerce site and order for a milk if it is about to be exhausted Con uh, consumable products such as ink cartridge may be capable of self ordering replacement when the current level falls below a certain threshold just think over suppose if you are having cartridge or uh, there is a, you are having suppose a pen and uh, or something which you are using with the cartridge and that cartridge is the ink is going to over and uh, for example typing machine like that just it can order itself by email and get and filled it then how you will be happy isn't it so just imagine this all will happen in later years it, it, now it is a surprise but it will be as casual as how we are having uh, each home refrigerator and uh, uh, AC like that in olden days it was not like that they were uh, grinding in their hands and they were sleeping in the cot with the um, under the tree like that so not like with the uh, AC and other technological things but in olden days but now it is possible in olden days they were having the dream like this but now you just think of what this all happens how you will be okay technology has not only made a normal persons easier but it is also a boon to citizens with special needs india is home to 2.7 crore people living with one or the other kind of disability so just think of what technology has not only made a normal person's life easier so don't think that only a normal person life is easier but it made it is also a boon to the citizens with special needs if they have a special needs they are fulfilled with the technology means they are it is a boon to them and india is home to 2.7 crore so your india is home to 2.7 crore people living with one or the other kind of disability so your out of so many crore 2.7 crores are handicapped they are with the disability and according to 2011 census so according to 2011 census 2.21 persons of indian population is disabled unlike the developed world india's disabled or deprived by attitudinal barriers as they continue to 
crapple with the challenges of access, accept, acceptance and inclusion. So here according to the census of 2011, 2.21% 2 of India's population is disabled, they are disabled. Unlike the developed world, India's disabled are deprived by attitudinal barriers as they continue to cripple with the challenges of access acceptance and inclusions so their life had been a cripple and they have challenged their life with the assist so with some assessment or with some acceptance and inclusion so some inclusion were made so what is the future of technology so you learned so much and what will be the future of technology how many people in india suffer with disability so here you just imagine uh, what is the future of technology so in future technology will be working you and uh, it will be ordering or uh, any uh, uh, thing is needed in the refrigerator or a cartridge or ink is needed if it is over it will be just ordering it okay so here you will be just crippled but in India what happens 2.21 percent of Indian population is disabled unlike the developed world India's disabled are deprived by attitudinal barriers they have attitudinal barriers as they continue to cripple with the challenges of as is acceptance and inclusion so they need somebody's help and like that so but foreign countries it is not like that in a modern grown countries you can see Eliza Eliza is talking about her we can see in this lesson what she is telling to us Eliza says I would probably still have done it because I want everyone to know the difference technology has made in my life but it would have been frustrating and difficult. So your Aliza tells that uh, uh, she want to share her life uh, because everyone must know that technology helped her. So Aliza says I would probably still have done it because so she had achieved something how she achieved why she achieved it is because the technology has helped her i want everyone to know the difference technology has made in my life but it would have been frustrating and difficult but it would have been frustrating and difficult so it is clear children so it will frustrate and difficult it will feel uh, she'll feel difficult also so but it would have been frustrating and difficult okay i have you know what is that cerebral palsy so she was having you know that you will be having some uh, <coughs> problem in her cerebral and uh, she has a cerebral palsy and i can't physically type as fast as i think or anywhere never near but right now that's what i'm doing i bet you are wondering how so she sees that so he, she was uh, not able to do as normal person she has cerebral palsy what is cerebral palsy okay so we'll see what is that So permanent tightening of the muscles caused by damage to the brain. Cerebellum palsy means there was a problem in her brain. She was having a problem in her brain. She was having a problem in her brain. And because of that, uh, she can't say, uh, type it fast. So she can think fast, but she can't, she can't type it fast. That was her problem. So the problem in the brain, and because of that, the hands will not move properly, both the hands, and she can't type as fast as anyone could do. But some technology helped her to do that. So here I have cere uh, cerebral palsy and I can't physically type as fast as I think or anywhere near but right now that's what I'm doing. I bet you are wondering how. So you'll be wondering how it is happening. Okay. I'm using a piece of technology. I'm using a piece of technology called dragon dictate. Called dragon dictate. I speak and the word appear on my screen and then I can. So here 
she add a technological uh, instrument which when she speaks what happens that it will be just typing. So, when it is typing she can uh, speak automatically the, uh, uh, the typing will take place and when even she is having a, a palsy of uh, cerebellum, cerebellum palsy is having she was managing to do with uh, the technology called dragon dictate called dragon dictate. So, dragon dictate print them out when she is reading it will be print them out it's made a huge difference to me it's made me achieve things I only dreamt of so she was dreaming what she can do but it had been done with that dragon technology so she was telling by herself no children who is this yeah former president ABJ Abdul Kalam was concerned about people with a disability in India and along with his team developed a lightweight prosthetic form of space age material to enable disabled children to walk easily. You know that polio attack children will be having a heavy weight of shoe, the metal will be heavy and already they are having a problem in walking and they will be dragging and walking. But by seeing this, our president, former president ABG Abdul Kalam, he you just felt very pity on the children and uh, looking that uh, person and he, what he had done he had just uh, made uh, with a <coughs> prosthetic form of space age material with that he made the light heavy weight uh, disabled children to walk easily so you understand the technology is like that and see here uh, I used to have a teacher so Aliza is speaking now I used to have a teacher she is passed away now and one day she said to me you are going to go your max GCSE general certificate of secondary education I said no I am not don't be silly I didn't think I could do anything like that studying was so difficult because I had to rely on someone to type everything into a computer for me so Aliza is saying that her teacher who was uh, told her and uh, blessed her that surely she will be going for a max exam for a GCSC a general certificate of secondary education so here it was not possible for her because somebody must help her to type everything and even exam time also one have to type so this, are, this is not possible for her so she said that it is not possible and she cannot do that I used to have a teacher she passed away so now she is no more but what she was saying when she was alive she said that one day she said to me you are going to your exam what exam max exam and what is the exam name GCSC so you may get in the abbreviations children you know what is an abbreviated word for that uh, GCSC general certificate of secondary education I said no I am not so Aliza was not having hope for that and she said it's not possible by her because she is having a cerebral policy and uh, she can't type it and somebody is needed to type an L for her and don't be silly I didn't think I could do anything like that studying was so difficult because I had to rely on someone to type everything into a computer for me so what the reason for not doing is one uh, have to help her and with her help only she can do it but that's changed now so but that changed now so she doesn't need any help at all I can do it myself with my voice so I can do it uh, with myself with my voice with my voice so she she was uh, just uh, telling that and uh, we'll stop here children because uh, we'll uh, stop here and continue in the next class you know we, I ca we can't go for the full whole lesson for the part we'll have uh, part one part two part three and we'll stop here and continue in the next class until then bye children thank you very much